the, the homeowner had done some testing on the paint and found that it did have lead in it. It's, uh, I don't really remember exactly the year of the house. I know it's uh, got to be somewhere near 100 years old. And uh, so what we're going to be doing is setting this all up, properly containing it for lead and uh, for the lead disposal. And we're going to be uh, prepping and painting all the woodwork in the, in the staircase. So one of the first things that we do before we before we start to uh, disturb anything as we're setting up is we set up the uh, jet air filtration system. Uh, working on the principle of gravity, uh, we we set it in the area at the bottom, closest to the work area, where the likelihood is that if anything was to escape that it would be in, that, in that, that correct direction. So that's what we do here. And uh, we're using a, a, a heavy uh, construction paper that's used for this kind of thing. We put the paper down and then we put the uh, plastic on top of it. So now that we've got the first, uh, the, 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 the sweeping and the first vacuuming down, we go over the, uh, we go uh, over the uh, walls. We, we swiffer the walls and not intended to be any type of a product endorsement. We start from the top and work your way down um, instead of going up up first and then down, yeah. Um, and another thing we were told is that, uh, you know, you don't want to go back over the same area twice because you're potentially recontaminating in an area that you just already cleaned. So we start at the top, obviously working with gravity, at the very top walls, and then we work our way down to the bottom. So now that we got all the walls wiped down, we're going to, uh, put the HEPA back out. Uh, we generally get all the cracks and everything out real good because we're gonna do one wipe down one with this. We have this, uh, we, we, we actually use a small uh, portable, the Omega Supreme Plus. It looks tiny, but uh, it, it's, 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 it's not a cheap vacuum and it's a 100% certified HEPA vacuum. 
and, and it does a great job. And uh, so we just, uh, we mostly get all the, seeing that we've already broomed everything down, we've uh, run the, the, the vacuum on it once, then we swiffered off all of the walls and, and uh, the vertical surfaces. And now we go over with the, uh, now we go over it with the, uh, with the vacuum cleaner and then we'll wipe it down once at the end. So what we do is we have two containers. We have a container of clean cloths and we have a container where we just dispose of our dirty cloths. Uh, so you'll, what you'll do is you'll take a cloth, we'll, you'll take, we take a cloth out of there and uh, take a clean one and uh, we, 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 we have a, 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 a bottle that we just have plain water in and we spray it one time. This is just enough, it's, it's to create sort of a, uh, we're creating a uh, microfiber type of a thing where we can just pick up all the, the dust and everything. And, and then we, what we do is we wipe off all of the, the surfaces of the areas that we're, that we're working on and we work, we, all the horizontal surfaces and that hadn't been uh, adequately picked up from the uh, swiffering. And that's it. Now that we have the, that we've gone and done the HEPA back and uh, wiped everything down, we have a special green, what we do is we have a special uh, eco green cleaner that we go over all of the surfaces. It helps uh, the, the, the primer and the sealer bond really well to the, to the surfaces. So we're gonna wipe that all off and then we're gonna prime and uh, seal the whole thing. So we've got everything swift, vacuumed, wiped down, uh, prepped, primed. We, we like to leave the containment up during the entire priming process. So that, that helps with the containment. Uh, now we're gonna be taking down the, uh, the tape and the plastic off of all the doorways and the entryways carefully taking it down and, and, and taking it down to the floor and to the middle of the floor. And we do that with all three of the, uh, the uh, there's the two doorways and the, uh, the hallway, the uh, entry to the other hallway. We carefully take all that down and put it into the middle. And then once all the, the uh, Doorways and entryways have been taken down and put into the middle of the floor area. Then what you'll we'll do is we start at one end. And we take the paper and the plastic and everything, take the paper from the sides and push it in towards the middle. And we just roll the whole thing up. And then at the end, wrap the end over into it. Perfect. Perfect. And so we'll take that down to the bottom for, for the other areas, and then we'll tape that up.
And I wouldn't wipe back and forth, I would just wipe once in one direction. We've worked our way down to the bottom floor here. The first thing we like to do is wipe down the ladder since it was uh, in the work area when we were doing some of the work. So then uh, we can start uh, taking down the uh, plastic from the, the doorways and and the entryways. We always, as, as gravity works with uh, the, the area before we get started, it works the same way after we're finished. We start from the top and carefully take everything down, downwards, and we move it in towards the middle of uh, the area, which is all gonna get rolled up into it, 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 itself. But this is the staircase, a uh, whole staircase primed and caulked. So we let it dry up overnight. And uh, yeah, so we're just waiting for the, uh, to finish some of the work upstairs before we put the, the finish coats on the, uh, staircase here, but it came out really, really great. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> 